What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Spanko with the one and only Matt Van Hoovel here. <laughs> so, what is YouTube today? I played Toronto Regionals and finished X1, losing the final round to Ryan Yu, and I finished third place. And what deck were you playing today? I was playing Salomon Great. So I'm excited because I didn't think Solid was going to be doing anything right now. I knew they got new support, but apparently it's a good deck. So yeah, go <laughs> ahead. I mean, it's it's always a good deck, but it's very meta dependent. So, okay, and you feel like right now it's good. Yeah, it was a meta call. Uh, the deck plays really, really well into Droll, Ash, uh, Imperm, uh, and like Book of Moons do nothing to it. D-Barrier does nothing. And those are all the cards people are main decking right now, pretty much. So okay. it was a meta call. The deck performed well, got hard countered in the last round by uh, some nasty Labyrinth tech, but it is what it is. Yep. yep. All right, so you want to get right into it? Sure. So uh, for the main deck, I played three of the new starter, Solomon Great of Fire. It's basically the new Stratos for the deck. One card combo to end on a board that's not just Sunlight Wolf and Roar Pass, which is what the deck typically used to do. It locks you into fire, so no access code OTKs, but doesn't really matter when you overwhelm them and end on two traps. Okay. They can't play through. Uh, the other normal summons, I was playing two Foxy and two Flame Buffalo. Uh, this is still my favorite normal summon of the deck and plays through most interruptions except for Book of Moon. Mm. Uh, but uh, you need the Foxies as removal for like Skill Drain and Kikaboo and other really annoying things. I played against a, a Mechanko player who put up the, the spell that says I can't target them and this outs it. So it, it was very good. Uh, I would play three, but normal summons are, you don't want to clog with them. Yep. Uh, best card of the deck, Gazelle, obviously. I played three Spinny, the best discard for Buffalo. Uh, and then for the one of monsters, I played one Weasel, which is the extender I always w wished existed back when the deck was uh, meta. meta before. It's level three that you can just special summon out even after you get nibbed. Very, very nice. Uh, one Jaguar and one Falco. Uh, everyone plays two ja Jack Jaguar. Uh, it's not necessary if you don't play Desires, and I think that card sucks especially in this deck. So oh, I'm spoiler. Playing, I'm playing all kinds of one-ofs and I never ever played Desires in this deck. Okay. Uh, hand traps, I played the three, or three Ash and three Droll, standard for this format. They were fantastic. Uh, Ash is the best hand trap in this deck because you recycle it every turn and wins your games off that. Uh, that's it for the monsters. I was, I'll probably experiment with a different monster lineup moving forward, but I just built this with the new cards that I got yesterday, so. Okay. <laughs> uh, played pretty standard. I'd say you did pretty good for building Yeah, I just built a deck it for consistency to, yeah. to start, and then I'll, I'll play around with ratios, maybe for Vancouver, we'll see. Okay. Uh, for spells, I played the one of Sanctuary, that loves to stick to your hand. Uh, three copies of Will, the best spell in the deck. Uh, three of the Circle, second best spell, and then consistency. I'm not sure if we'll play three of this moving forward, but it's, it's a good card. And then for tech, again, standard for this format, Book of Moons, fantastic, going second and first against most decks. Yep. Self-explanatory. The one of tactics, uh, talent, just good. Don't want to brick on it, so I don't want to see two. Uh, breaks Kashtira, which is a bad matchup, so it's good. That's fair. Uh, for traps, I played the one Rage and two Roar. Um, I've religiously always played this ratio of traps. I know one one is standard and even in the Desires build, which blows my mind. Um, but I want to dump this off of uh, Gazelle turn one and then set it with his own effect and then search that with the Raging Phoenix. So I have both and then I want to have a second one for just cleaning the game up. Because once, if you, break their board and then set a roar, they can't come back. There's nothing they can draw. Okay. So. Okay. And then the last thing is uh, three imprints for, uh, yeah, the format. Right, yep. yep. So a lot of consistency, but no real, I guess, draw power in the deck. Well, that's not exactly true because you get draws off of Heat Soul and you get draws off of the Weasel, which is kind of nice. And uh, the, the Flame Buffaloes too. Okay. So sometimes you can do all those in one turn and it's pretty significant. Okay, nice. 
Uh, moving on to the extra deck. I think it's relatively standard. The one of Mirage Stalio. Uh, if you need more than one, you're playing the deck wrong. Okay. Uh, three Baylinx. Three Sunlight Wolf. Uh, one Heat Leo. I really wish I had space for a second one, but space is an issue with the new Raging Phoenix now. So okay. It is what it is. Still an incredibly important to Link Climb, and I don't understand why people don't play that card. Uh, two Raging Phoenix, uh, the best new boss monster of the deck, searches the traps, it's fantastic. Uh, and then basically, the other Solomon Great card, which is a uh, Heat Soul, when your things don't go the way you want them to go, you can make that guy. You just end on Heat Soul? Yeah. It's, or, I think I did that once or twice, but usually he's, I sort of go into a mid-combo, draw one, and then make the Raging Phoenix with him, which, okay. is, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then the other cards I was playing, uh, one of this Link Decoder, which allows you to basically make a uh, three card access code instead of a four card access code, but it's pretty uh -huh. e easy. Uh, really, it's a, you make a two card access code play because two cards makes this, this brings something back, which comes into that. These two make this, then you draw a card off that. And then all three of the, or these two make access codes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And yeah, so that's way 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 better than this thing which i'm not playing moving forward and i threw it in last minute because i thought i'd regret not playing it but every time it's always overkill and this card sucks okay uh and the next is good because it's the best card nice i'm not playing Vigushka because there's only two level fours in the deck oh. uh and then the side deck uh Relatively untested, so it, I'm sure it can be improved. Okay. Uh, but I was playing two ghost spells that I did not see against Ryan Yu. Uh, <laughs> it's also for, uh, like, branded and, yeah, it's, it's just a good card. Um, two Curry Karas, uh, recyclable off Sunlight Wolf, and uh, uh, self-explanatory in this format. I was playing two Nibirus because I was afraid of big combo decks. Uh, mid-range decks like this can struggle against like massive boards that like Menadium can set up and stuff like yeah. that. Plus it hard counters uh, Cash Tira, which is a bad matchup, obviously. Okay. Uh, I played the one of Called by the Grave for when I go first against decks that could shifter me. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I put this in against Lab as well. Uh, the, the furniture builds, I did not see it against Ryan Yu. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I love how it always goes back to that. I sided three evenly matched, which I think are good against most of the bad matchups of the meta. Um, like against purely, it simplifies it to just the noir, which you can overwhelm. Uh, and against Cash Tira, it simplifies it to just a rise heart, which is still a problem, but as you saw, there's a decent number of outs to it, especially after putting in the Curry Karas and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, I've played the three standard barrier of the format. Uh, self-explanatory and then the last minute i switched to playing two of these uh because i think it's better than most other floodgates right now like it's hinders cash tira branded uh potentially labyrinth um a bit vanquished soul which did come up actually uh, uh Manadium as well yeah Manadium. so I, I think it overall it hits the most decks as opposed to rivalry goes in right now yep there's a lot of uh, mono type mono attribute decks right in the meta and i just didn't have space for everything so. and how did you feel about the two of did you play the two of just so you can have more options yeah that's basically it this format's so diverse uh that i just needed to cover as much different matchups as i could okay uh, again it's this was my testing for the deck so um, I this, say it went this pretty will well. probably change moving forward but that's why I decided to, to try and cover as much as I could with the most consistent main deck I could make. Okay, beautiful. Congratulations again, uh, third place. Uh, this is your first regional of the season, yes. uh, post Nats, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations again. Uh, do you Thank want to you. give any shout outs before we head out here? Uh, shout outs to Untouchables, Sports Cards and Gaming. Uh, best place to play in the GTA. Yep. Uh, they sponsor me, so yeah, I'd highly recommend checking them out if you haven't been to their locations before. In Brampton and in Mississauga? Uh, Mississauga and Milton, and I think they're opening a location in Oakville in the near future. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Okay, that's really cool. All right, thank you again. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, shout out 
out to Hanko Chow, who oh. finished lower than me and will now be buying me a bubble tea <laughs> yeah. because he bet me that he would that I would scrub and he would do better. And, and now we're here. Oh, and shout out to uh, Rashab for daring me to play this deck. Also oh. Uh, yeah. uh, Alright, well make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you and congratulations. And with that, Spanko sign and out. Peace.